want to say that Leslie had went to sin is to misunderstand that once you know how to love and to love so completely that even in your passing you're more concerned about the others around you and how to care for them then you're ready to breathe and breath of God to spend time with Him eternally to be one with Him we've heard personal witnesses We've shared our lives. She did not go to sin. She graduated from high school at 17. <laughs> She's ready to be in God's presence. The question more that, that I think, I'm sure you do as well, is am I preparing? Have I learned to truly love God? Have I, have I truly learned to love others? Have I even learned how to love myself? And if not, what am I going to do to begin to, in all times and in all places, as long as God gives me breath, to be able to live that life of love? As you're thinking about that this day, I want to sing one of the newest hymns of the church. It's a great Celtic song. That it's in Christ alone that we have our faith and our life. And we want to sing it together as the people of God. Please stand together as we join together.
It's very fitting, of course, the patron saint who started the great hospitals of our world and started the loving of the animals and caring for them and expressed it in, in marvelous ways. It's just a perfect prayer. It's a prayer, of course, of supplication to God that he will make us into the type of people who can love as he loves. I would encourage you to allow it to be your prayer, and then I will close with a committal prayer as we commit. Let's say in into God's hand. Father, along with St. Francis, each one of us want to pray that you will make me an instrument of thy peace, that where there is hatred, I may bring love, that where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness, that where there is discord, I may bring harmony, that where there is error, I may bring truth, that where there is doubt, I may bring faith, that where there is despair, I may bring hope. That where there are shadows, I may bring thy light. That where there is sadness, I may bring joy. Lord, grant that I may seek rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand than to be understood, to love than to be loved. For it is by giving that one receives, it is by self-forgetting that one finds, it is by forgiving that one is forgiven, it is by dying that one awakens to eternal life. Father, may we who have said this prayer in our hearts be empowered by the help of your Holy Spirit to fulfill this prayer in our lives. And now, Father, we've come to the end of our time of honor. We now commit into your care our beloved wife, daughter, sister, and friend, Leslie and Curtin along. May all of us who love Leslie Ann remember her with great joy and peace. And may she rest in peace in your eternal care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to thank you very much for being here this day. And we want to speak on behalf of Cobus and our entire our family, extended family, especially in South Africa and our church family. And you're invited to join him at the reception that we prepared in the upper room. Thank you for coming.